Hi everyone, this is Chris. I'm a student here at Marine Tech at Skagit Valley College and today we're making tech tip 52, inspecting a fuel tank. Uh, if, uh, if things go well, we're to the good and if things do not go well, we'll go to tech tip 23, how to cut an inspection port in a tank so you can then clean it out and, and renew your tank. But uh, today we're going to take the first step only. We're sitting here on the uh, Marine Tech uh, boat. It was just donated to us. It's a brand new addition to our Marine Tech fleet, which would be very small, don't get me wrong. Um, and we just want to know if our fuel is looking good. So we, we came through, we got good access to the fuel tank, which is really nice, but there's not a stripping port on the tank as recommended by Calder. So what we're going to have to do to get access is remove the fuel sending unit, which is not a problem. It's just here on top. It's good access. We pull the bolts out, put the sending unit over on the side very carefully. We're not unhooking anything to speak of. And then we're going to dip down to the very bottom of our tank using our high-tech high uh, sampling device, which is just a clear plastic tube taped onto a stick so we can hold it straight. And we're going to get down all the way in the very bottom corner, the deepest corner, and see what we can find. Now we're either going to pull out good fuel or, in the words of Art, our instructor, salad dressing if there's water in there. We're really hopeful that we get good fuel. Now as you can see from this jar in front of me, we ended up with good fuel all the way along. There's a little sludge in the bottom, but after 30 years of accumulation, that's really not too bad. We're pretty happy with what we found. So uh, uh, this uh, hand pump did a good job of getting our quart of fuel uh, sucked out of the bottom of the tank. And this boat looks like it's about ready to go sailing. It's in pretty good shape and we're looking forward to it this summer. So thanks for watching and, and uh, look to Skagit Valley College for more tech tips in the future.